Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give some details about coding test conducted recently. Uh, it is for duration is 30 minutes and the tool is Eclipse. So basically first they will ask uh, some questions about the profile and then ask the, some questions about the Java questions. So based on that, they will decide which which question, which uh, coding test they can give it to you. So in this case, some, some people got some different question, but it everyone will not get the same questions. So so in this case, what are the questions I got? I'm going to give more details on it. So let me open that. I opened the Eclipse now. So here is the question. So the all ones is need to be, there are the int integer numbers all ones to be separated and all zeros are separated on one side so i'm writing one new method here I'm calculating length here just because I want to pass the length as an argument into the new method so that I want to do all the uh, business logic into the new method by passing this length. Very simple and straightforward but the expectation is to complete in uh, 10 minutes. Looping for loop. What's the problem? I think there is some problem. Just a moment. Yep, sorry, that's a syntax error. So I'm looping the numbers for each of the element in an array and equating to the one. If one, so I would like to increase the count, that's the logic. So if the number of values are ones are, let's say it's a four and the count will also have a four. So, so that it will help me for the next loop. I'm going to put the same loop as a length, as a maximum count and uh, create an array, which uh, the total number of ones. If the total number of ones here is four or four or five so the count will be five and then the same count i can use it here so that i will loop it and get the exact count for it so i can loop till the the count means number is a lesson number one or five so I can do the maximum looping here is a five. So I'm just assigning it. Oh, it's some, um, it's hanged it. Oh, yeah, 
dotted part. So till that point, I'm assigning to the one. The same thing I did it for zero. The rest of the numbers is in zeros. So after count is passed to the sum x uh, the, of the array, and then the rest of the things I'm just want to making as zeros, and still the count will be calculated. The maximum length is length is the total count. And I am assigning the counter. This is a counter which already once are already calculated. I'm printing it now. Let me run this. Oh, there's some complaint. It's a save now. Yeah. Okay, let me run it now. Yeah, is I ignore it? Is a different error? Okay. It just it's running it now. Oh, oops, it's, I have not called it. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to call them. I'm passing the array and length as well here. It's printed all once. Okay, some problem. Okay. Oh, here it is. I just press one. It has to be zero. Yeah. So actually, when do copying pasting, it should be very careful. Like what we are pasting, and sometimes we'll forget it. So let me run it now. Yeah. So now we got five ones and zeros. So all ones are separated, and all zeros are separated on right hand side. So it's very simple and straightforward. Just uh, let me do the indentation as well. A simple and straightforward is no, nothing uh, uh, much difficult. Okay, but only the problem is like uh, as quickly as finish it up in ten minutes. So, so uh, we sh uh, the interview will be happy on this. Just. It's a simple three for loops, just calculate the length and passing the length to them, uh, looping it and till that first counting once and then assigning once and the same counter assigning to this another for loop and do the maximum length assigning zero. That's it. Okay. Okay, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. Thank you. Thanks for watching.